Hello, my name is Maddie Schaefer. This is IS-185 Computer Architecture, and this is my project, From Punch Cards to Spinning Magnets to Solid State, A Journey into Computer Storage. We will begin our journey with a history of memory. Then we'll move on to how do spinning magnetic drives work? How do solid state drives work? And then we'll do a quick comparison, and then we'll wrap it up. Any questions, you just let me know. The Fascinating History of Memory As early as 1725, the textile industry used punch cards for controlling mechanized looms. The punch card was still in use well into the 1970s. The Jacquard loom. You can see the punch cards to the left, which indicate which threads should be pulled, which threads should be left. Punch tape. Each line in the tape indicates a character. The magnetic drum was invented in Australia in 1932. Short-lived in memory's history, the Selectron vacuum tube. However, solid state had its first whispers here. First used in 1951, our association of the epitome of modern computers and science fiction is wrapped up in magnetic tape. It is still in use today for storage. Larger than a refrigerator with a capacity of 5 million characters, 5 megabytes, the first ever spinning magnetic hard disk drive. The first laser disks were read-only optics and held entirely analog content. The basic technology behind laser disks was invented in 1958. The 250 megabyte hard drive, more compact and greater capacity. Cassette tape storage, the first device that was compact enough to carry in a pocket. The capacity of hard disk drives has grown exponentially over time. Desktop hard drives typically have a capacity of 500 to 1,000 gigabytes, while the largest capacity drives to date are 3 terabytes. While having less capacity than spinning magnetic drives, the solid-state drive offers amazing speed in data storage and data retrieval. Holographic data storage overcomes limitations of bits being stored on the surface of a recording medium by recording information throughout the volume of the medium and is capable of recording multiple images in the same area utilizing light at different angles. How do spinning magnetic drives work? This is a rarely seen view of a working hard disk drive. You can see the speed with which the actuator arm moves over the disk on a thin blanket of air. The read-write head is used to detect and modify the magnetization of the material immediately under it. During the delete process, the read-write head changes the polarity of the bits of the file being deleted. Notice during the copy and paste process, that the arm moves between the two sections where the data is being transferred. As the disk is being quick formatted, there are just a few swipes of the arm, and the disk is formatted. Then we just power down. How do solid state drives work? Solid-state means without moving parts. Heretofore, solid-state memory was the primary memory of DIMMs on the motherboard. When the electrical power was turned off, however, all of the memory on a DIMM is erased. So the question is, how does the memory remain without the power being supplied at all times? Flash memory, or solid-state storage, stores ones and zeros in millions of miniature transistors each 1,000 times as thin as a human hair. If the transistor conducts current, the chip is read as a 1. If not, it's a 0. Look closely at this slide. 
The current flows just underneath the transistor along the chip's base, or substrate, A. When the chip is empty, all the transistors set to, to 1. But when you hit Save, the chip records data by blocking the current to some transistors, turning them into a zero. To do so, the chip briefly applies 20 volts into a piece of silicone called a control gate, B. This pulls electrons into another silicone bit called a floating gate, C, leaving a positively charged area directly below and breaking up the usual path of electrical current. As you can see from this delightful piece of propaganda comparing spinning magnetic drives to solid state drives, the main difference in the two is that hard disk drives have moving parts and though have a tremendous capacity for storage, they suffer latency issues and are not very energy efficient. CPUs process information much faster than hard disk drives can read or write, therefore creating bottlenecks. Though laptops are built to be moved, hard disk drives can be very susceptible to damage. Solid state drives, on the other hand, do not suffer from bottleneck problems. There are no seek or latency issues to bear, making them very fast. Solid state drives do not have the storage capacity of hard disk drives. Those that come close begin to lose processing speed. They are, however, tremendously energy efficient, and though they are not indestructible, they can be dropped from a distance of 10 feet and your data would not be harmed. Thank you for your attention. Please direct your questions to the lady in the middle row.